There you go. It smells like weed out here. Yeah. Someone's, Someone's smoking maybe, weed. <laughs> maybe from the roof or something. Wow. This is how full-time bodybuilders change, bro. What are you doing? Full-time bodybuilding, bro. So now... Now we gotta make do for a kill session here at the gym. Wow, it looks pretty nice out here. They really did it over, huh? Yeah. So I think we're gonna do a little back today. Derek hit me up this morning and he says, man up and do some back with me. I said, well, listen, I dude, I don't train like that anymore. So needless to say, he trained back this morning and I'm gonna do back just to piss him off now. Yes, there you go. So, San Diego, baby. Done, man. Let's get it done. What's up, Jay? How you doing, man? Good to see you, bud. Son of a bitch. For all you bodybuilders that come, come to the gym and ask for a double X or a three X, I'm going to XL. XL. Look at the comment. XL. 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 gym in Pacific Beach and I'm here with Eddie Bracamonte and he is the monster I just watched him do some shoulders here and uh, awesome man it's, thank you it's great uh, it's great to be down here I know we uh, we linked up at the California Pro and introduced you to a lot of new faces out there and uh, you know you're heading into Chicago in two weeks right. and uh, this is your home gym so tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening and first I want to actually 
So you guys out there with dreams and aspirations, okay, we're just talking about a nine year transformation. Check that out. First show to, this was the last to, to, show. Toronto, yeah. Okay, Toronto Pro, which was earlier this season. Uh, actually, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah weeks ago. So that's quite a transformation. How many pounds is that? Oh, man. Um, close to 90. Okay. <laughs> So you guys out there that think you can't make that transformation, that's uh, pretty ten, amazing. Ten, 10 pounds a year, pretty much, average it out. Well, dude, you were impressive even when I saw you at the USA's compete. And I remember people talking about, there's this new guy coming up, and you know, you were kind of a front runner, but I got to see you compete for the first time at a pro show this past, like, a few weeks ago at the Cal Pro. Yeah, yeah. And uh, impressive, I mean, a lot of, lot of great posing I just watched right now. You're working with the technician, of course. We both have uh, we both have that experience. I worked with him since a teenager, and uh, you know, how'd you guys link up? I mean, what what uh, when did that start? I know you said as an amateur, you started working with Chris, and it's been a, a while now. Yeah, it was. Um, so after North Americans in uh, 2015, Dusty, that's when Dusty Hanshaw yeah, won his Dusty pro card, and he sent me a message saying, "Hey, man, I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but I really feel you should uh, step it up and work with." Uh, a guy who has the experience and the knowledge working with uh, top local pros and he introduced me to Chris, sent me his email, um, I messaged him, he got right back to me, asked me what's up, asked me how he could help me and from then we started working together and um, slowly started climbing back up the ranks and then, so 2014 that year that was, so 2015 is when I got my pro card working with him. At the Nationals. And, uh, at Nationals, yeah. So I was, I uh, came in second, uh, Sergio Oliva. But who was also working with Chris at the time, so we was also your training partner. Was also my training partner <laughs> who uh, didn't show up today. But anyway, see, so uh, yeah, we were turned turn pro that year. But we both working with Chris in 2015. What year was your first competition? It was um, 2010. Was my first competition. Okay. Yeah. So it was around that that time you showed me that picture. Yeah, right? it was that picture right there. 2010. 2010. First time on stage, and um, fell in love with it right away, man. But I didn't really think about. Turning pro wasn't a, a, a dream or a goal of mine at first. Because it's, it's out of sight, right? Yeah, I would look at the magazines and like, man, those guys, I can't be that, that level. I used to say the same thing. You know, and then I, I try to follow Mike Matarazzo's uh, meal plan and, fuck, man, this is crazy. So you're looking at magazines now oh, instead yeah. of social media because that, well, back, back yeah, that didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. yeah, back then I was looking at magazines and thinking, man, these guys are crazy. There's no way I can do it. But once I did well at USA's for the first time in 2013, I came in second. And I actually beat Dusty, but um, Max Charles won that year. I came in second. I was shocked, you know. And that's when I kind of thought, wait a minute, you know, I probably do have a chance. Yeah, to, a chance yeah, yeah. I did. So, and then continued to work with Chris. You know, he made me feel more confident in myself and working with just various people. And it's just now we're here, man. You know, it's it's so crazy, you know. When I got on the Olympia stage for the first time, '99, I was like, man, so excited. And I placed like second to dead last, you know. And I was like, man. And I keep doing this and then eventually two years later I was almost winning so it's just amazing uh, it's a big stage and you know we're excited to see you out there and hopefully we can track some of your journey there and thank you I can get I want to get all of us together and hopefully we can uh, you know get something out when it's a little uh, when it works for us you yeah know? Well, definitely I'd be, I would love that I uh, wish you the best of luck stay healthy yeah. and uh, keep keep doing it man thank you Jay Look awesome man. I appreciate it man thank you so much I'm shooting before but too. that's not not bad. Ow. That's tight. That's tight. What is that? That's what TFL. It's TFL. So see right here? This yeah. is your glute minimus, right? And then right there is your TFL. Yeah. And that just more like your IT band feels great. It's just your TFL. This is a small leg. I know, but this feel, feel that right there? Oh. That's just so much right there. You're squatting too heavy, dude. Feel that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck, that hurts. So. How do you, you work do that without um Doing that and having it hurt no, no. so much. No, no, I'm just no, no. That's just showing you how tight it is. I'm not. Is it tight? Well, no, you feel that? Yeah, that's I mean, all I just, the way down. That's. I know, just, but it's always. You know, that's always been. But that'll kill your knee. So that would be like take your leg off the table. I'm not gonna hurt you, but if I pull you, <clears throat> do you have tension here or up by your hip? Here. So that means the psoas is running all the way up, and it's tight right there. So your psoas is pulling you inward, yeah. and you get uncomfortable right here, right? Yeah. And then if we go like this, and go here. That's pretty good. You're a little tight adductor right there. Which I always was. That side, this side's probably worse. Yeah. But this is like, this is pretty good.